What's up? I'm Blake Chaos, and I play silly card games and drink water on the internet. If you like Shamu, then I've got a Marvel Snap deck for you. So let's crack a crispy sip. Let's peep this deck that I call Jane Loves Dogs and Orcas because it's got Jane Foster, Lockjaw, and of course, Orca. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I made this deck as a meme deck last week after the OTA buff of Orca. Orca is now a 611 and its ongoing power has the opportunity to make it a 616 if this is the only card in the lane. But what happened with this deck was pretty unexpected. Orca just kept winning. Now most of the power in this deck is the same as it's always been. It's Lockjaw, so you're dipping the Wasp or in this case, M'Baku and the Wasp, summoning something insane from the Miracle Pool that is Lockjaw. In our case, the insane cards here are Infinite, Taco Hulk, believe it or not, Orca, but even America Chavez using Jane to bring back Wasp or grab you Thor's hammer or even just grabbing a vision and being able to move vision around the board. However, as you'll see in the gameplays, Orca actually isn't what you want to pull out of Lockjaw. I can't even believe I'm saying this. You actually want Orca in your hand so that you can play it turn six for that 16 power in a random lane. But also too, pulling 11 power out of your Lockjaw lane still feels sick. You can even have that Dracula dump that 11 Orca power on the last turn for a big spicy win. So that's it for this deck. If you're looking for substitutions, basically you can just replace the entire deck with Galactus and you're good to go. Now go have some fun playing Marvel Snap. Hit that like and subscribe button on the way out of here. And by all means, come back to the comment section when your win rate in net cubes doesn't look like this. Games with Pre Professor X are probably pretty sick. Ooh, I think I'm gonna Jane out or Lockjaw out in Mojo World if I get Lockjaw. There's the Orca. Oh... This could be a perfect orca place. This could be a great orca. I don't know. I'm a little bit sketched out. Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Quicksilver, Medusa, Storm, Stormlord. Nice. Or Star-Lord, Scarlet Witch, Punisher, Capped. Jessica Jones, goaded. Oh yeah, you got some. You got some sick cards going on. Very yeah, because like, White Tiger and Spectrum are awesome. I don't know if you've seen this card before, like Orca, uh, but it just got a buff today. I think it used to be, I can't remember what it used to be. I think it used to like be a six, nine. And now I got a buff, so I'm gonna, and it's it's been traditionally pretty horrible to play. So we're gonna see if it's any good in this weird Jane Jaw deck that I have going on, which is not doing a whole lot of Jane Jawing right now. And I'm a little bit scared. I just have all of my big cards in my hand. It's a very shang chi Shuri's lab right now. Okay, so they're invisible womaning. I don't love it because I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to get too much out. And I don't have Lockjaw right now. Maybe we just Vision? Well, now I don't want to stick Vision anywhere else either. Oh, this is so gnarly. I guess we just orca. Go put the put the wasp over here. <laughs> this my feeling is gonna be so bad. Are they, they must be dooming. They have to be. Okay, so they Modoc. Oh no, it's a hella. Oh no! <laughs> I think I'm chucked. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, yep. Definitely screwed. 47 with the infinite pull? Oh, what? You basically won that, that specific lane for nothing. Here we go. Okay. Now we can lock jaw. Oh, no, it's totally possible. I mean, in my other deck that I was playing, I was basically locking down Nebula using Storm or Professor X. Oh, cool. Well, I have a surefire way to deal with this. Oh, man, but I am going to let them... 
Ooh, this does suck. But is what it is. Here I may just have to let them use their nebula and just avoid it and just try and take the car. All right, I will take a free Hulk down. Take it. There we go. Orca is kind of chalked. It's just going to be an 11. That's fine, though. Ooh, watch out for the Electro. It'll pop your one your one cost, like your Sunspots or your Icemans or any one cost that you might have. That you see a lot more Electra in, like, early collection levels for sure. Moon Girl. Okay, so we're going to Dino. Oh, let's go. Nice. What one cost are you using? Alright, so now we've got two lanes. They can Shang-Chi or would have to Shang-Chi. I don't know what's about to happen here. I feel somewhat confident, though. You have to Shang-Chi two lanes. I'm feeling pretty good even with like the Orca staying at 11. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It feels pretty good. But I don't know. Our opponent is hard barking away their thoughts. Okay, so I probably win right. It's kind of shocked for that. Whoa, we tie there. Wait, there was one more turn. I am an absolute goof. Wait, this feels sketchy. What else do you have? I don't think you have a... You don't have the dino like I thought you did. Yeah, you do. You have the dino. I know you do. Or are you about to, like, hit monkey? No, you don't have enough things in your hand? What is this? What are, what are we talking about here? Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet time going through it, so I don't think it's a bot. I don't think so. Oh, Iron Fist. That, yep, that makes sense. Okay, so we get to me. get the proc off on our little frog Thor. Oh, okay, so they were, got it. They were rocking the double She-Hulk. That's why they moon girled. Interesting that they had a Titania. This deck is still very good. Even, like, because the additions to it are inconsequential, really. The car, okay. That's not bad for me. That's great for them, though. Oh, that's the noir one, isn't it? Ayo. Okay, so I get Nebula. Could be good, that could be bad. Okay, stuff costs more on turn five. Three, four, five. That's fine. Although it may not be fine.
I really have to pull lockjaw or else I'm shocked here. Ooh, this could be this could be the end. Okay, so they oh they wave. It's actually not that great for me. Okay, they didn't fill Mojo World, and I discard. Uh, whoa, with the Orca pull. That's twice Orcas won me the game. Not with the card itself, but the power that's in the card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Topper, I feel like most of the time that's what's gonna happen. Uh, it just be it happened to be in that instance. I didn't pull the wasp. What is, these hands. Okay, there is lockjaw in my hand. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying not to sketch out as much then. Okay, so they wasp. Ooh. I'm actually kind of okay with that in my case because I will take another lockjaw lane if I can get it. That last game, I was debating playing the Wasp to, to get rid of the Negasonic. I'm glad I ended up not doing that. Oh, this is gonna give me a copy of my hand. And there's the Orca. Rhino. Highly shang chi lane. That might be dumb, but we're gonna give it a shot. And they give me a magic last turn. Okay, let's go. Just had your first game where the entire board was filled? That, those are the games. Those are the ones. Oh man, I think I'm gonna do that. Hulk it out? I've never, I haven't seen the magic pixel variant. This isn't that bad. Reminds me of like a cross between like Castlevania and Doom. Seven. They played a lot of cards. That's probably a Shang-Chi. No, it's not. It's a blade. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we went right. What ha What did they do here? All right, so I'm going to get a Jubilee, which is going to call Nebula. Oh, it calls Molnir. Okay. To me. Got to get another Hulk there. Oh, no, not good. Mystique? Yep, they win. I'm pretty sure. Whoa. This is the lane that won me it? Oh, you've got to be just absolutely losing your mind. 
Valkyrie coming in clutch at the end there. Old Tiki trying to throw us for a loop. All right, Squirrel Gang strong. Okay, there goes Jane. I feel like this is a deck that is highly likely running Killmonger. Oh, honestly, I misread or forget to read the areas all the time. Yeah, this is definitely a deck with Killmonger in it, so I do not want to hedge my bets. Okay, so I actually get something decent. Yep. Death is free at this point. Friendly neighborhood spy, Are you man. kidding me? That's too funny. RNG is like yelling at me right now. RNG is just like, get out of here, dude. It's bad. Oh, they haven't carnaged yet. That's D's. Okay, there's the carnage. So death is definitely free. Enough said, bub. Okay, that's a guaranteed infinite. Twelve is probably not great. Wait, if that's a guaranteed infinite, hold on. I do have priority, which sucks. Okay, there's death right there. Oh, they didn't play death there. Ooh, wee. Enough said, Bob. <laughs> Just a frog throw on top, no big deal. Grab him at any point. It seems to be like really just tweaking the meta game right now. Darkhawk's fun. I really like playing Darkhawk, especially if you like got all the stuff that goes out goes together with Darkhawk. Destroyer. Oh, bummer, this happens every once in a while, but it is what it is. Oh, did you get Black Panther? Nice. Well, you can do the wild Wong Arnim Zola combo. Or I guess you don't need Wong, you just Arnim Zola. Yeah. That makes sense. What's good, Pixel Punisher? Your face is very, very difficult to see. Whoa, is 
that like an ultimate ant man? Holy. The hill? All right, this is not good. This is just not good. So we're gonna dip our toes in and hope for Jubilee or Infinite. Oh, Topper, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, dude, I cannot tell you how freaking forever it felt like it took me to put this masking thing together. Ugh, it was just... It was so silly. It took me forever to figure it out. Um, but I, I, I like the layout that I landed on. There's still some things I want to tweak, and it's not completely done. Um, I need two. I feel like, okay, Dark Star, you can just chill. You can just chill, my dude. I expected a whole lot more movement as well. I feel like I've seen less of it than I had in the past, so I'm not really sure why. Because, like, it's still really, still really powerful deck archetype. All right, we don't get the jaw, so we're probably going to just have to deal with it. That is a very good point, Topper. Don't go hard. Hards across three, four, and five can't be played here. Okay, great. I can get some three, four, and fives that go there. Nobody move. Cool. That's nice. That feels pretty good. Let's try and get some some big cards in here. Yeah, I don't believe you. You are you're so full of a dark star. Oh, he just means stay under level 447 so that you're only ever fighting cards that are at the same like pool level. Cuz once you get past that 474 mark, you start having to deal with like pool series, pool 3 and beyond. So like a lot more powerful cards makes it a lot harder to play um and play competitively. Shang-Chi? No, more. What's up, Jane? Are you kidding me? The Orca just won me that game. <laughs> Victory. What is this? <laughs> 